Plasma is the fourth state of matter. Like gas, it doesn't have a definite shape or volume, but some of its particles are ionized, meaning that they have lost or gained electrons and a certain amount of electrons are free. It also contains some ground and excited state atoms, and, importantly, free radicals, including oxygen. But why do we need plasma surface treatment in the first place? The surface energy of the solid substrate directly affects how well a liquid wets the surface and thus determines the adhesion of inks, glues, paints, and coatings. Wetting can be measured by the contact angle of a bead of liquid on the surface. It may spread out over substrate and the contact angle will approach zero if complete wetting takes place. Conversely, if wetting is low the resulting contact angle will be significant. Plastics made of polymers, such as polyethylene, have low surface energy because the surface particles are nonpolar, meaning that they are electrically neutral and do not attract other molecules very well. In such case, the particles of the liquid are attracted more strongly to each other than to the surface. If the surface energy is greater, then the liquid will spread and consequently wet the surface better. Plasma treatment is an excellent way to increase the surface energy. The radicals, created by plasma break the polymer chains of the material and oxygen-containing molecules are attached to its surface. These functional groups are polar, meaning that they attract other particles with much greater force. This results in increased wettability and therefore allows the plastics, metals, and glass to be easily and perfectly printed, painted and coated, glued, or simply wetted.